Hey guys, Bill Nichols here. Let's talk Lightroom. Round trip editing with Lightroom and Photoshop. So tonight I'm gonna to show you how you set up your preferences for taking an image that you start editing at a base edit in Lightroom, taking the Photoshop to finish up, and then when you bring that back into Lightroom, how you work with it. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started with round tripping an image from Lightroom into Photoshop and back to Lightroom. So for this image in particular, I chose an architectural image that I shot in Colorado. It's pretty much already edited. I'm just gonna do something really simple and remove a light post from this image, just so that we can see the workflow going from Lightroom to Photoshop and back. So by default, Lightroom is going to send Photoshop a TIFF, and then you're going to edit that TIFF in Photoshop, you'll save it, and then when you come back in a Lightroom, next to your original image, you'll see a TIFF. And I'm gonna show you how to set that, so if you wanna set it to a different file type, different compression, different resolution, whatever you can. Generally, I found that the defaults that Lightroom sets are pretty good. So to get started, if you wanna set those preferences, go open your menu bar, click Lightroom, you open up the preferences pane, and right here, it'll be in general, just click here on external editing, then in external editing, you'll see right here, edit in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015. So it has its own dedicated edit panel and it's going to go as a TIFF, Pro Photo RGB. The Pro Photo RGB is going to preserve all of the color space of Lightroom into Photoshop. If you were to choose another one like sRGB, it'll tell you that, that the sRGB color space cannot encompass the full range of colors from um, Lightroom. So we're gonna choose Pro Photo RGB. It goes 16 bits, 240 resolution and compression of zip. Now for any other programs that you have that can add, that can edit into, um, that you can do an edit in command, which is when you right click an image, you choose edit in, and then that program appears in that menu. You've got all of them right here, and you can just click on one, and you can change whatever it does as well. So for example, Analog Effects Pro is going to send it over as an sRGB. I could change that to Pro Photo to make sure that the color space is preserved. So now I have told Lightroom to send Photoshop a TIFF, make sure that it's in the Pro Photo RGB color space, that it's 16-bit color depth, 240 resolution to use zip. So we can close that. I've got my image right here that I wanna send, and all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right-click it, I'm gonna say Edit In, and have it send it to Photoshop. Now it's gonna ask me, do I wanna edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments? Do I wanna just edit a copy of the original file and Lightroom Adjustments won't be available, or do I wanna edit the actual original file? So if I brought a raw file in here, I could edit that original file. It would then open an Adobe Camera Raw. I would process it, bring it into Photoshop, edit it, then bring it back and I would have edited that original file. Generally, I go into Lightroom and I do some base edits. And then I'm going to do my final edits in Photoshop. So I wanna edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. And that's what this is. So Lightroom is going to take that file. It's gonna create a copy. Then it's gonna open that copy in Photoshop. So let's do that now. So now that it, that is open, so you can see the file right here. So you can see it's BQ's you know, file name dash edit dot tiff. So this opened up as a tiff and it's RGB 16 bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, I could go remove this sign or this tree or all of these light posts or these trees or whatever. Let's just remove this one. Let's make this really quick, really simple. So I'm just gonna zoom in here. I'm using my Wacom tablet. I'm just gonna go right here and just, I'm gonna do a very simple um, let's see how well, so I'm going to select it with a mag or with a polygonal lasso. Whoop. Come back over, select it. I'm just going to come around, just basically select this right down to the wall, across, back up. Now from here, I have a few different choices. I can do a stamp. I can do a patch. So I, I could grab this. Bring it right over here, right about the same. Let it move it over. Actually, that looks pretty good. A little dark spot here. So I could really quickly grab the stamp tool and just say uh, lighten, so that anything that's darker than the cloud that I'm gonna be sampling, it'll lighten over. Sample my space, bring it over. Yeah, that looks a bit better. The little obvious spot is gone. And now, so now I've removed that light post, as you can see, and um, I've gone ahead and fixed the cloud right there. Now, if I wanna bring that image back into Lightroom, I'm done with it. I'll go over here, I could just close it. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna save changes to the document? 
file name dash edit.tiff before closing. I do want to save those. It's going to then show up in Lightroom. So I'll say save, Lightroom closes or Photoshop closes. And now you can see I've got the original file here and the changed file there. And that's it. So generally when I go into Lightroom, what I'm going to do is I do a set of um, editing. I'll do another video on this on my workflow in, in Lightroom. But I go from the things that are least destructive to the image as far as adding noise or adding any grain or you know really taking down the quality of the image before I bring it into Photoshop, before I convert it to another file. So on the raw file, I'll make edits. Like at first, I'll do some exposures, uh, my cropping, all of that. From there, if I need to change um, if I need to change the contrast or anything like that, I'll change the contrast. If I then need to remove anything in Lightroom, I will. But if I'm going to bring it into Photoshop, I'll wait and remove it in there. And then I take it into Photoshop as my final step. So I want to do everything from exposure, uh, crop, rotate, all of that in Lightroom to my original file so that I'm working with the most information available as possible. So when I get to the final things that I really need Photoshop for, I want to make sure all of my edits are done in Lightroom, bring it into Photoshop, do those final edits, save it, now I'm back in Lightroom and I don't have to do anything else to it. It's a really quick video tonight. That is your basics on round tripping an image from Lightroom to Photoshop and back. So really simple, take your image, right click it, edit in, choose the image that, choose the program that you're going to edit that image in, save it in that program, come back to Lightroom and it'll be right next to the other images. So if you found that helpful, thanks a lot for watching. Watch again tomorrow for another video. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe below. Let me know what you think of this video. If you have any questions about round, tri round tripping images, put them below. And if not, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Hope you have an awesome day. You keep watching. I'll keep making videos. Talk to you soon.